Department of Homeland Security says Texas authorities physically barred Border Patrol agents from trying to rescue drowning migrants. Mexican authorities recovered the bodies of a woman and two children on Saturday. This was across the border from Eagle Pass, Texas. Texas officials claimed the drownings had already happened when Border Patrol requested access. Yesterday, Senator Joe Manchin spoke with Margaret Brennan on Face the Nation about the need to secure the southern border. Listen. This is such a crisis, and it's a dangerous crisis at the border. The president might have to take executive actions, declaring a crisis, national crisis, a national crisis at the border, and do what needs to be done to shut that border down and secure it until we can get a handle or until legislature, the legislature can come to an agreement. Mm -hmm. But leaving it open, thinking that we're all going to be kumbaya and it's all going to come together, uh, is not the uh, prudent course to take. And joining us now for more is CBS News Chief White House Correspondent Nancy Cordes. Nancy, good morning. How is the Biden administration responding to what happened at the border? Well, they are blasting the state of Texas. You won't be surprised to hear they say that this was a tragedy that could have been prevented. And they are accusing the Texas governor of acting in a clearly unconstitutional manner by blocking the Border Patrol from getting access to this park since the middle of last week, this park that the Border Patrol has been using to process migrants for the past several weeks. And they're really upping the ante. Over the weekend, uh, a top lawyer for the Department of Homeland Security sent a cease and desist letter to the Texas Attorney General, essentially saying that if the state and the Texas National Guard do not remove all barriers to this park by Wednesday, that DOJ is going to consider all other options available to restore Border Patrol access to the border. Um, you know, this is not a, a rhetorical standoff here. The Texas National Guard has been physically blocking the Border Patrol from gaining access. Now, DOJ says by Wednesday, they're going to do whatever they need to do to take it back, which really raises the prospect here of some kind of physical conflict between the federal government and the Texas National Guard. So no one really knows at this point how this is going to get resolved. Uh, Nancy, I also want to ask about the nation's finances. Congressional leaders saying uh, they will vote on a short-term agreement funding bill to avert a government shutdown this week. Is the president pleased with what's in that bill? Well, he's certainly pleased that the uh, federal government isn't going to experience a partial shutdown, uh, and, and that is what this short-term bill ensures that the government will keep its lights on. On the other hand, it's only going to fund the government for another month and a half or so. So this fight continues. The president uh, was asked on a Friday about all of this. He did say that he is pleased that the Speaker of the House uh, appears to be standing by his agreement with Democrats, with the White House. Um, but th the whole reason that we're seeing a short-term funding bill is because there are still members of uh, the, the Speaker's own party, Republicans, who feel that Republicans need to take a tougher line here and need to force through um, uh, more spending cuts, uh, which has been a challenge for this new Speaker because, uh, as you know, he and his predecessor had already agreed mm. on top-line spending levels. Uh, but it is good news, uh, certainly, that the federal government is not going to experience a partial shutdown this week. Absolutely. And Nancy, we are talking to you on a day of service. What is on the president's agenda for Martin Luther King Jr. Day? Well, the president spent the weekend at Camp David, and he is going to be uh, heading to Philadelphia today uh, to participate in that day of service. He is going to be uh, volunteering with a group called Phil Abundance, which is a hunger relief organization. The vice president is going to be doing something similar. She's heading south, uh, and then the president will be back here at the White House later today. All right, Nancy, thanks so much. You're welcome.